Good morning, this is Ray Morris of Northwest Shows Community College in Muscle Shows, Alabama. And here I am here today to talk about the Generac system my ELT Residential 2 class installed in the building. We got a 22 kW system single phase and we installed it. it took about three weeks. Uh, some of the issues we had I was going to talk about. Uh, one of the issues was the grounding we wired it up and it would only click and we thought the battery was dead but it was not we got a new battery and it kept clicking we wiggled some wires down here trying to get it to work and it finally did we'd get a yellow light sometimes and sometimes we get a green light uh, it finally cranked and we thought well we got it fixed well one day the power went out and uh, it only clicked it did not crank come to find out the, we figured out on the opposite side is where the negative terminal goes it was loose on the chassis or the frame and so we moved it over here and put a lug on this side so it'll be easier to get to and we have not had any problems since but that was the issue I was going to talk about is that we could not get that thing to crank until we figured out we had a ground issue, so once we put it on that side, we have had no problems since. Uh, like I said, this is a single phase. It's got a 100 amp breaker, two pole breaker. Uh, we've got a 200 amp transfer switch. We've got number three wire running to it. Uh, the 200 amp is just basically a disconnect. We've got a 60 amp breaker on the opposite side upstream to protect the wire but the wiring is real easy it's color to color basically from the transfer switch to the generator we didn't have any problems as far as you know wiring it up uh, we, the gas line I don't know if this is too small I think it's the generac guy uh, Mr. Dean Sergendorf I think or Sergen Fi he told us we needed an inch and a quarter pipe to, for volume if we were running heavy loads and we've got a three-quarter pipe but we're just basically running lighting here we're not gonna run anything else but other than that except we didn't have any problems so we got our grounds or neutral and there's our hots we did put an E here on the front because this is the emergency side the back side is the uh, lines or I guess the load side normal power uh, we didn't use any of the dry contacts there uh, inside we put a new ITE panel you can tell we got an old Federal Pacific panel this was been was built in the 60s and so we're trying to get everything off of that eventually and put a new panel on it uh, that's a three-phase panel we got a single-phase panel we're just doing the lighting but we got some three-phase things we need air compressor, garage door and stuff, air conditioner we're going to put on this one. But hopefully we'll change it out next summer. But you can see we ran an inch and a quarter out. Ran an inch and a quarter back in. But I'm going to pause it and put it all together and we'll cut the panel off and see if it'll crank. <laughs> 